Hi Taurus, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Taurus, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment before we start as always. <sighs> I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So um, with that said, your key to the week this week is the judgment card. This is always big change, right? Whenever the judgment card shows up, this is one of the cards that really gets looked over quite often. You people see it and they're like, oh, you know, maybe a call to action and, uh, you know, maybe a blast from the past and they kind of leave it at that or gloss over it. This is a big card. When it shows up, pay more attention because it's usually either a, a grand clearing of the decks or it will represent some sort of big change that is about to come, right? And in usually it's not the change itself, it's the herald, right? That's what the, the guy with the trumpet, the Archangel Gabriel represents on the Rider Waite Smith deck. There's an element with the, the um, judgment card, it's like, get ready, be prepared, right? This stuff is now coming to a close. A cycle is ending and you're about to level up. You're about to move on to bigger and better things, right? So when the judgment card shows up, pay attention, right? Because there's big stuff here. Um, the fact that you've got this card as well, this week could be a very spiritual energy for you, um, especially just as we're about to step into Capricorn season, which will start offering trine energy to you. Um, give yourself a moment to really ask yourself, what cycle is completing for you right now, right? What is it that you're ending? It's not just the cycle of the year as we come into the holiday season. It's not just the cycle of, you know, the crazy pandemic or anything like that. This is a real solid question about what chapters in your life now are starting to wrap up. And more importantly, where can you get ahead of that? Where is it that you are ready to really say to yourself, okay, you know what? There is something new around the corner. I'm on the precipice of becoming who I was always supposed to be. What am I prepared to do about that in the here and now? So uh, before we get into it, a quick announcement. Um, you want astrology, tarot, numerology. On top of that, there's gonna be human design. I have two very special guests this year for the winter solstice. Trust me, you don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be great. Um, it is, uh, there's also gonna be an FLP session. There will be a recording this year as so many asked you. So I've got uh, Heather from Astrology with Heather. If you saw my Venus retrograde special just recently, you know Denise is an absolute storehouse of human design knowledge. Trust me, you want to be there. So you can get your link, um, you can get your seat on the link in the description box below. It would be lovely to have you. Take care and let's get into it. For your actions and options, you have the Justice card, right? Look at that, beautiful. This is one of the reasons I love this deck. Um, I'm just gutted that they're not bigger and you know that they're not as durable as I would like because I know I'm gonna wear them out. Um, now, because this is in your actions and options, this is you really starting to consider both your inner and outer worlds, right? And the reason I say this, yes, it's commitments and all the rest of it, but the reason I say this is because you've got the justice card with the judgment card. This is you committing to a higher, possibly more aligned, but definitely more spiritual evolution. This is you tapping into I almost want to say something primal and it's you really starting to understand what your gifts are, what your abilities are, what your skills are and putting those to the test. This is you dedicating yourself to some sort of new path. Maybe for some of you, this is the resurrection of an old relationship. Maybe someone is coming back into the into the fold. Someone's coming back into your life scan, uh, life scape, scan, lifespan. 
lifescape, <laughs> you know, maybe this is uh, the rekindling of a relationship for some of you. Not for everybody, and it doesn't have to be a personal one. This could be a platonic one, it could be a professional one. Um, for a lot of you though, this is really big change on the internal level, because this is about you finding the balance between your external life and your spiritual life. For your communications and conversations, you've got strength, right? Uh, beautiful. So, in a lot of ways, this is you shining a light on maybe what some of your new belief structures are. This is you not being afraid to speak up about something, not being afraid to stand your ground. Um, for some of you, this could be coming out of the closet, whether this is a broom closet, you know, this is what we in the spiritual community call it. Uh, you know, coming out the broom closet means, you know, declaring that you're a pagan or that you're spiritual or that you're a Buddhist or that you're a medium or you're a psychic or a tarot reader, astrologer, whatever. Um, you know, for some of you, this could literally be coming out of the actual closet. Um, you know, not everybody, obviously, but there's something this week that you're prepared to speak on, right? It's like you've got this newfound courage, you know what direction you're going in now, and it's like, it's not enough for me to know this, I wanna speak about it. I want people to know exactly who I am in all facets of who I am. It's like this week you find in the courage to speak on something that maybe you felt was a bit taboo, or maybe, do you know what I mean? Like there's something this week where you're like, you know what? I'm pulling the lid off, right? <laughs> You're gonna get all of this. Um, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could simply be, you know, on a really mundane level, maybe you're having that conversation with your boss to say, look, you know what, I don't feel like I'm being utilized here. And if I don't sort of get, you know, more by the way of recognition or even progression, then it's time for me to start thinking about something. I kind of feel like in a lot of ways, this is you hedging your bets. Um, I will say this, but remember you've got the judgment card, which always precedes massive change. So it could be that maybe this is already shaping up for you and you're being a little bit impatient. Maybe ask yourself where that is the case this week. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is you really giving yourself time, energy, and I think in a lot of ways, maybe speaking about some of the things that you want, and it's about really, in a way, being more self-centered. And it's like, you're being more self-centered in your speech because it's like, if I know what I want and I'm ready, willing, able, and prepared to go after it without shame, without fear, without um, you know any of the holdups or the hangups, then I have much more of a chance of being successful and more importantly, a chance of being happy. Um, this is important stuff, right? If you've got your own business, this could be a powerful week of realization for you and a powerful week of speech, like something that you're sharing could be really big. For those of you that are um, retired or no longer working, in a lot of ways, this is you doubling down your efforts on something, right? So maybe this is that you're looking for a group of people that you can study with. Maybe this is that you're looking for a group of people that you can develop a certain gift or skill or idea with. Um, I like this. And you know, it's kind of like you being really bold enough to say, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do this on my own. I'm gonna go with other people. For your love and relations, you've got the 10 of swords. So not an easy card, right? And especially with the judgment card here, especially with the justice card, this could be a rocky week for relationships, especially because whatever it is that you're declaring, you're doing it very honestly and very openly. And so maybe your partner's kind of like, oh, well, you know, you're, you're being very loud or you're being very forceful, or, you know, maybe they kind of feel pushed to the side because of something that you choose. Um, I got to be honest with you, with this 10 of swords, it's not so much that you don't care, it's more a case of regardless of who feels what, you're not gonna be stifled anymore. And this is a very important place to be, whether you're partnered, married, single, in a long-term commitment, very single, um, you know, because this is about self-owning, right? This is about self-mastery, self-focus, uh, self-determination, self-direction. And this 10 of swords, especially because it's underneath the, ju the justice card, this could be, um, a <sighs> For those of you that are in relationships and you know that it's kind of, you know, got more holes in it than a pin cushion, this could be a fatal blow to the relationship, right? I'm just gonna be honest, it's the 10 of swords underneath the justice card with the judgment card as the key to the week. 
you got to talk about it, right? There's a select few of you. This might be the time where you feel like, you know what, I'm not sure there is a way past this. Um, now, for those of you that are in, you know, happy, healthy, stable relationships, one way that this could show up for you, it could literally be the removal of some commitment that you and your partner had that was a burden on the relationship. This could be paying off a debt, getting rid of that awful car that seemed to, you know, be ready to blow up. Um, you know, this could be, I don't know, maybe the baby finally sleeps all the way through the night and you get your first good sleep. Right. If you don't have any children, um, you know, maybe you decide actually, you know what, this home, this environment, this place doesn't work for us. It's like whatever it is that comes to an end for those of you in good, healthy relationships, it takes the strain or the burden off the relationship. It's like whatever that thing is that's been weighing on it up until this point, it goes away. And then for your money and materials, you've got the son of wands, right? So this is the knight of wands. Um, very interesting for those of you that have children specifically of teenage age um, your Leo teenager for those of you that have them may feature for you this week and they might give you some sort of information that really makes you rethink your parenting strategy um, a child or your children could be quite pricey this week not that when are your children ever not like you know <laughs> <laughs> my friends always say this I, I, I love them but they are a complete and total drain on my resources um you know no matter how many you know what age or or um uh you know status of your of your <laughs> mini drain on your resources this week uh, they may feature for you and it might see you having to really consider what you're doing for them or what they you know what they might need uh, for some of you this might be that they decide you know what I want to go after this or you know I've been doing these classes for the last six months and now I really want to ramp it up a gear I kind of feel like this might be one of your children is getting really serious about something and that severity might you know it might prompt that they need more money for classes or they need more equipment for whatever it is that they're doing in a way it's a good thing because it means they're getting really focused and serious about something in a more challenging way obviously you've got to find more cash um so you know for those of you that have got children that could be where this is going for those of you that don't this could be where some uh, skill idea hobby um, something that you're doing, it takes more money. Like you're really passionate about this, so it's money well spent, but it is money that is kind of, you know, you're now looking at it like, okay, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to make this happen. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. And to be honest with you, it is the Knight of Wands, which tends to speed things up or give us opportunities for overtime or making more money, etc. So, you know, it could be there. It could just be like, okay, you know, easy come, easy go, right? Because as the, the surplus is there, so the need arises and it needs to be fulfilled. For your home and environment, um, could be very busy this week, right? Very, very busy. I mean, you know, it's holiday season, lots of people coming and going, so it kind of makes sense. And then for your physical health and vitality, I love this card for health and vitality because it gives us energy and drive and passion. It can also sometimes speak to inflammation as well. So watch out for that this week. You know, for you, we're all gonna be overindulging at some point over the course of this month. Maybe just try to find a way to keep it manageable and not go completely overboard. Um, all right, and then for your full moon message, you get, oh, okay, the cards have spoken. You have two. You have the gate 41 and fantasy and the gate eight and contribution. So the contribution card is about what is unique to you, your idea, this thing that you're bringing to the world, which kind of makes sense. And the fantasy, the gate 41, is a reminder that actually everything in life has to have a little element of pizzazz about it, right? So this full moon, I think in a lot of ways is showing you not only how to be yourself, probably more than you have in a long time, but also how that self can have a little bit of razzle dazzle about it as well. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Um, have a really awesome holiday season, whatever you do or don't celebrate. Take care and I will see you soon.